Hello, I'm Shane. Tonight we're going to blacken some crappie. It's going to be a pretty short video. Here in East Texas we call them crappie. Uh, back home in North Louisiana we called them white perch. In South Louisiana some folks call them sockele. Wherever you are you may call them something different, but Google crappie. I promise you'll figure out which fish this is. It's a game fish. You can't buy it in the store. And a lot of my friends are going to consider this sacrilege because everybody knows that fried crappie is one of the best fish there are to eat. But tonight I'm going to blacken it and what I've done is I've I've drained it, got all the water off of it, I've got it on some paper towels. I'm going to take and I'm going to put it in some butter and put it up on the chopping block. Don't ask me if you can use margarine. I'm not a real cook. I'm not sure, but it's probably going to be fine. We cut the ribs out of these. You don't have to. They are fillets, obviously. You're going to need a uh, iron skillet for this recipe. <clears throat> Something about it just makes it taste a lot different than if you cook it in a uh, Teflon pan. I've got mine over here uh, warming because you want to put it in a really hot skillet when you get ready. Got a half a stick of butter in here. That's a uh, one. That's a uh, three. Pretty good size crappie. We've got them laid up here. They've they've been buttered. We're going to take some blackening seasoning. This is a super easy recipe. I'm going to go ahead and turn this rascal up all the way to high. <clears throat> Got some coagulated blackening seasoning there. As far as I know, the only way to get these fish is to catch them, and I really wanted to go this weekend, but I didn't get a chance. Since they are a game fish, they're not sold, at least in you know around here, they're not sold in the store. But if you get a chance to, to eat some, they are amazing. All right, in my, <clears throat> my skillet, I don't have anything in there. I squirted a little Pam in there. You probably don't have to do that because they're coated with butter. Hopefully it'll shrink some because I'm pushing the capacity of my pan here. In the oven, my wife has put in some, some green beans and some broccoli. The video is not about green beans and broccoli, but that's what we're going to have along with some, some rice. And to blacken these, you let them cook uh, one and a half to two minutes per side. This is the most worthless spatula on planet Earth. I had eggs with it this morning, yesterday morning. I hate this thing. It has no rigidity. We might use it to assist us with this good rigid spatula. Smells really good. And you just, you want to uh, cook it like this until it's charred. Then flip it and you want to char the other side. Some of these are pretty big. They uh, take a little bit longer to cook than normal. Alright, we're going to start 
trying to flip them here. You see it's nice and charred on one side. We're going to get the other now. We're going to leave that one on the floor. All right. All right. And this is black and crappy. Very lovely, charred on both sides, completely done through and through. And uh, it's an alternative to frying, which don't get me wrong, I love uh, I love fried crappie. And uh, with that, we're gonna we're gonna let the duck take us out. Uh -huh.